God did. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look inside DJ Khaled's home studio. I'm going to be going over how he records artists like Gunna, the baby and Drake, as well as his monitoring and speaker setup. And stay tuned till the end where you can see DJ Khaled actually doing some DJing. These all these are on? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, motion yeah, is hard. Yeah, I like I like shit. That's hard. The element that stands out most about DJ Khaled's home studio is his speakers. The main speakers he uses in his studio are Augsburger Duo V15s. However, DJ Khaled wasn't always using Augsburgers as his main monitors. These speakers here, man, going fun. I got stunned a little. Yeah. These are like only like four made in the world. You know what I'm saying? Those are double 18 Genelex. I know you see sometimes that one, but that's the double 18 Genelex, and it sounds like a movie. You feel me? Every day. You feel me? Just behind his Augsburger mains are two pairs of giant Genelex speakers. To be specific, they're Genelex 1034As. We, we got the 1034As over here. All the speakers are connected to the Dangerous Music Monitor Controller. From what he said in the earlier clip, he runs all four of them in tandem. And from what I can tell, DJ Khaled likes these things cranked. The other pair of monitors he uses are some Focal SM9s. However, I'm sure he uses these monitors much less as they're significantly smaller than the other speakers. <laughs> Another one, Panya Bamba Club. The vocals is, is, <laughs> is, is, is in, in, you know what I'm saying? The engineer that runs the studio and records DJ Khaled's artists as well as him is A.O. Juan. A.O. Juan, did the Drake vocals come in yet? You know everything's top secret. I know, I know that's top secret. I know about them vocals. Did the other Drake vocals come in yet? Top secret. Juan, are you overstanding what I'm saying? I'm saying vocals with an S. Drake vocals with an S. Top secret, my brother. So let me be super clear, you, you focus now. I'm talking about Drake vocals with an S, songs with an S. Top secret, my brother. <laughs> Care about, did the Drake vocals come in? I know we clear about that, I know it's top secret, but did the other Drake vocals come in? Everything's top secret, my brother. I like it. You clear what I'm saying about the Drake vocals, top secret, but did the other Drake vocals come in? It's top secret, my brother. I like that. However, A.O. Juan isn't the only engineer that will use the studio. Sometimes artists will bring in their own engineer to record them. An example of this is Gunna, who literally flew in with his own engineer. To record these top artists, it's important that A.O. Juan has a crazy vocal chain. His mic of choice is the Sony C800G, which is a classic for recording really bright rap vocals. And I'm sure DJ Khaled really likes it as he always talks about how he likes to make his vocals very bright. On the desk, you can see a few pieces of outboard gear. For his vocal chain, the C800G goes into the 1073 BAE, which then goes into the TubeTech CL1B into Pro Tools. Oh, cows, you see the setup right there? There it is. Yeah, that's the good. chain right there, guys. That's the bay one, the bay version. I yep, know yep. The nah, but it still, it still does the job. You see the blow horn, yeah. the air horn. <laughs> you got the air horn. <laughs> you got the air horn, <laughs> Here I am in my mixing suite, and let's take a look at the settings that Ao Juan is using on his tube tech. Now here we got the actual real tube tech CO1B with me, and I've copied his settings. He's got the attack at 12 o'clock, release at 12 o'clock, so a medium attack and release. He has it set to fix slash manual, and here the threshold and gain change depending on what you're putting into the unit. And then his ratio is all the way down at 2 to 1. So I assume he's doing some pretty light compression with these settings. Probably kind of the standard of 1 to 3 dB, just barely tapping the meter on the compressor. On the desk, he has some other pieces of outboard gear, which includes some API preamps to the left and to the right in Avalon 757. To record vocals, Ayo Juan uses Pro Tools. Here you can see a screenshot of his Pro Tools session. You can see he has a pretty standard template setup where he records vocals on a record track and then drags them down to other tracks. And however, above the record track, you can see he has a track dedicated to just playlisting different tracks that he records on the record track. This is similar to uh, what other engineers do, like Bane. To the right of the main studio desk is where DJ Khaled's DJ setup lives. On the DJ desk, he has two gold Tektronix turntables, and he's using some Yamaha HS5s as monitors. <laughs> On the studio desk itself, DJ Khaled has an MPC-3000, which he has modified. 
you know about got my MPC 3000 back out the shop. No more floppy disks. You see, technology, you know what I'm saying? How to upgrade and none of that floppy disk no more. Even though I love the floppy disk, the floppy disk took me a long, long way. <laughs> Trust me. But right now we had to, you know, get with the times, with the technology. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like my 3000. Before I end the video, I just want to shout out the sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning or wants to explore creative skills like audio engineering. While I was on the platform, I took a course called Young Guru's Essentials of Mixing. For those who don't know, Guru has been Jay-Z's go-to engineer for years and is both a creative and technical master of the audio engineering field. This course really helped me to build and solidify my foundation on the basics of audio. After watching this course, I found myself really maximizing the use of EQ and compression in my mixes. After that, I watched one of his introduction to audio recording tutorials. I found some really good gems in there about how to actually do some acoustic treatment on any room in order to get better vocal recordings. He also talks about communication with the artist, which is crucial, and cleaning up sessions post the recording process or mixing. If you guys are interested in joining as a member of Skillshare and starting your learning journey, check my link in the description below. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video about DJ Khaled and his recording setup. It's really interesting to see his. It's really interesting to see his home studio of someone who records so many artists, and it's also interesting to see Ao Juan work, and it's also interesting to see their. It's also interesting to. See, it is also interesting. It is also interesting. To, it's also interesting to see Ao Juan's setup and how he works Pro Tools. It's also interesting to see how Ao Juan records so many different artists and some of the tools that are needed to capture. If you guys are interested in more content like this, possible. please make sure to stay subscribed and hit that like button as it really helps me know which video, which vi as it really helps me know, as it really helps me know which videos you guys actually would like to see. And let me know if y'all be interested in actually getting some of these engineers on for an interview. I think it'd be really cool to learn about their workflow and their process, especially AO1. Anyways, thanks for watching.